Hello everyone, uh, we're going to be playing a game called Water Womb World. I have, from now on, I'm going to be doing this, the uh, virtual, I guess I'm becoming a v v v VTuber with uh, this avatar. I can do expressions. Uh, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not fully accurate, but it works good. So I'm just, let's, let's just. Full, full screen. Though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any content, cont contentment in its primitive superstitions. The mysticism, the rituals, I know they are all articulations of a deeper material fact. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origins of a point of man's fall from grace. It's taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer to ever to finding the truth. I'm heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call the Gasper Zone. I have everything I need in my submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon I will tread out on the holy seabed where the spirits blew life into the in, in, in create mantle. I have lit my path with the submersible lights. It is a blessed wet day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tanks and grab some nets for specimen collection. I'm going to need both if I'm going to do my research. Okay, that's, uh, that's... So we're, we're this, we're the sea, sea church, this, the... Ah! Okay. That, that scared, that scared me. Uh... I need to be. I need to be more expressive with this, because you have to kind of accentuate your expressions, or else it won't detect anything. Uh, mirror. I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Uh, refill. Uh, head out. Oh, okay. That's even with my lights, it is still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they're on, I'm sure I'll be fine. I just have to remember that the entrance back to the lab is a further spot south to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope, as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember that if I sift at one position, it would be waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one live sample beyond my net, and also two samples from sifting, which should be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. Okay. Okay, uh, sift silt. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. So how far away do I have to be to s Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. I found- I found a post lapsarian Edomite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I will study it when I get back to the lab. Okay. Uh, okay. That's good. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Okay. A dive mask, likely an older make by the looks of it. It only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back at the lab. I I might need to fix the VC Faith thing. I, I don't know if it's tracked me 100% accurately. It's tracking my eyes though. This is pretty cool. That's that's that, I, I'm happy. I, I I I'm not angry. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I I'm my my eyebrows aren't. I'm happy. Not angry. I am happy right now. I am smiling. I am not angry. Why are my eyebrows doing that? Okay, happy. Sad. Angry. Happy. Okay. I got it. I played Endless Ocean as a kid. They, that game tra traumatized me. So. Oh! oh! Why? Why? 
Okay, where did where did it go? Oh, I got him! I got him! I got. I'm not. Why am I angry? I'm got. I got. I I, I got him. I got. I got. I got the. I got the fish. I'm gonna go back and return to the lab. I, even though I have been down here, but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. Your original sin of man, the original temptation, was that God opening the mind too? I am alone here, but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and a connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I can feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was connected to a, the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vast, vaster whole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely by my own. Well, as I have said, I should get to work. Hold on, let me let me fix my thing. Okay, I think I think I, th I, 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 I think I got it fixed. Uh, Don't think. Punish tense. Mirror. All right, good. I look good. Okay, I'm gonna sample study research. Oh. Partially fossilized remains of a son of Adam contains 5% ancestral corruption by approximate calculations. He lived for about a millennium. He was born 10 generations after the primeval fall. High bone density and suggests aquatic lifestyle. Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis to the birth of all creation. They live to be very, very old and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density. Yes. One of the pillar of aqua Edenic studies it is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed in such a time in the form of son of Adam to take now. It's very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I'll load up the next sample. Production date, mid-20th century. Robert Schroeder died maps were invented with various Christograms, biblical inscriptions. This mask would prove that I am not the first one to explore Gaspar's zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers here were sent by the church. There are certain divisions in the Papal Conclave who are in the know, but it's some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions? And what did they discover? Where are they now? I'll take a look at the next sample. Carbon dating estimation 10,000 years. These are going section yielded fish fed on native coral forms. Hypercalcified bone structure to cell stripes matching modern metamaterials. Amazing. This fish may have been very well very well been alive during the time of pre-deluge patriarchs. It very well may confirm the theory of Gasper Zone being located in or around Edenic ground. But how? Some suspension of space-time? Or some biological deceleration of the aging process? I must conduct a more extensive search. Soon I should go out for more samples. Is it, what was that? A whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. I don't want to check outside! Mirror! Show me the mirror! I, I can't look at the mirror. Lights are out? Dang. Some, something stirs at me. Oh lord, even in this darkness I know you are with me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. Lord, guide me. Please. Please guide me. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Ah! Throw that! What? God? 
Son of Adam, I beseech thee, your forebearers and the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place or you will exchange one life for another. Die as a man or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your God is the return origin word. Back into the womb where words were failed. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. Son of Adam, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, I beseech thee. Angel. An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. Their visit even matches the description in the decipher Genesis Apo Apocrypha. See such sights. Can it be possible? What did the message mean? Full-fashioned God. I can't postpone my search any longer. I am closer than I ever, and I will find the truth. I must find more samples. Mirror! Oh. That's not good. Time to change it up. I ought to... Find two live specimens, not one object in the silt. I feel that if I can barely need this oxygen underwater, I am closer to God than ever. Oh, fish! Fish! Yes, fish! Fish! Go back, go back, go back. Find the fish. Interesting. This coral's color is similar to the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fish. I should collect it. Find the fish. Find all the fish. Ah! Ew! What was that? It's been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I'm reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark, the un unindiffer undifferentiated infinitude, incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. It is strange. Perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming, but I feel a bit to see. A, beautif a beautific lightness has entered my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me. Just at the moment, I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there is nothing to do but press on. Okay, mm wow, what is that? I am red. I'm well tanned. Researching. Cross analysis with previous fish example. Fish age exceeds previous estimations or sometimes in the Jurassic period. Cellular growth abnormal, almost completely still. Stomach contacts reveal more native coral forms. In it contains proto-human proteins. Is this f fish human? Fish is even older. Amazing. Almost impossible. There's some common link between this life form and our own. I know this well. This fish, as well as the others, are lacking eyes. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean. But even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some bit. All of a sudden I feel. Unknown morphology. 50% of the sample consists of coral polyp. Age again exceeds multiple geological periods. Secretion of unknown stone substance. DNA contains proto human proteins. So old. Impossibly old. Ancients of days. Time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan. Bridget in all things, how old is it? It seems to be close to the origin of life itself. We'll take a look at the next thing. Or 
origin, unknown error, studded with protohuman neuron, hypercapable of greater consciousness field, womb of God. Error. 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 What does it mean? I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness? But it seems greater than that. Like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so... Light. Another angel. Oh, Lord, I can feel your love. Oh, my God. Hi. Ah. I... Game by games. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Okay. So right now we're going to be playing Anatomy. I downloaded this a while ago. I forgot where I downloaded it or why I downloaded it, but it is. It, 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 oh, my ears! Ha! That was lo that was loud. I can't move my mouse. Okay. This is. Oh, now I can move my mouse. Okay, doors. None of the doors work. I guess I can sprint pretty fast. Oh, the basement. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the basement. It's like the lower level. So the base level, I guess. None of the doors open. Oh, there's a TV. This is unsettling. Oh, the expressions are... Okay, now they work. Yeah, they work. Uh, okay. Nothing so far. Am I just supposed to wander around until something happens? Or okay, this is. Some... I'm afraid. TV. No. Nothing. The Skellicats! The Skellicats! What? Is that me or is it? I'm pressing buttons, but. Is that me? I don't think that's me. I'm frightened. I am immensely frightened. Oh.
In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship, buildings for socializing, buildings yes. for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its Organs. continued survival. Dining room. I don't, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Where's the dining room? Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Ah! Okay. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. Okay. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself. Sure nor regards such shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? Because they're nice. There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. Downstairs bath. I don't want to go downstairs. Is this down... I mean, this is downstairs? Or... Okay, look at this one. I'm frightened. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. Why would you do that? There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Why? God, I hate I hate this atmosphere. It's so I want to take off my headphones so bad right now. I'm gonna wear it halfway. I'm gonna wear the headphones halfway. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's open all the doors, I guess. I swear to God, if there's a monster or something, I'm, I'm gonna just quit. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, okay. Antibodies. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate th I actually, I'm actually scared. For example, let us examine the living room. Out in the dominant space of a house's ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home, the living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. This sounds like Monster House. Wasn't in Monster House the the fireplace, the heart, or something, the furnace? I think that was what happened. The the, the chandelier was the uvula. The carpet was the tongue. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. 
the windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. There's a window right there. There's a window. And we all have there's a window right there. I'm being watched. What happens if they get AC units? Is that like contacts? Wait, did it say there was another tape, or did I miss it? I think I may have missed it. I'm afraid. I'm deeply afraid. I'm so scared. What is the garage? Oh. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. Okay. In the bedroom, dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. Have computers in, there. in the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. Okay. There's a tape in a bedroom. A bedroom, not the bedroom? I'm assuming the bedroom would be at the top floor, right? Oh, I hate darkness. I hate darkness. I have intense nick to Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm, oh, I hate this so much. Oh, okay, yeah, the door. I thought the door was closed at first. Let's just go. Oh, I don't want to run into monsters. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one. For obviously, the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. Just think of it as ASMR. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Ah! Okay. I hate the basement in my house. Oh, that's convenient. Uh... I swear to God, I swear to God, if something pops out, I swear to God. How's that possible? Use glue? Tape? What, what it? Invisible tape? What, it, what is this? Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one. It's just and often the basement is little more than a storage space, littered with the corpses of spiders and wood mice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt ice? dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams, that is actually the most frightening of all. Oh, okay. Master bedroom. I need to play all horror games. Oh, it's red. That's not good. Oh, it's on the bed. What? It is here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Teeth! Is that a pupper? Each night we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time. Is that a pupper? Oh, it's a pupper! To keep us safe until next we wake. It looks like a pupper! In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might oh. stand beside us. Watch us. Keep us company until dawn, 
and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during new hours, the bedroom seems less like a mouth. What even is that? More like a mouth. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. <laughs> what? Okay. I okay. Uh, all right, we're starting the game again. Ah! Uh So I uh, checked the file. It says there's you got to do a second time. Oh, it's 1994. No. Ple no, thank you. So go back to the bedroom. I want to take off my freaking headphones so bad like right, right now. What? Is this intentional? Oh, that, that lady. Did that lady. Those are some chickens. This is a demon chicken. And it, it's, it's giving a bedtime story to this, this woman. That's that's my head cannon. Maybe I should go back to the kitchen. Okay. Oh, I hit it. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined the era of the bed. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. Okay. What if you live in a car? Are the cars alive too? There's tape in the dining room. I swear to God, if someone jumps out at me, I don't want to. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy, 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 sympathy? There's a tape in the downstairs bath. Oh, okay. I keep thinking they mean basement, but I don't think they mean basement. Oh, the mirror. The mirror is screwy. Okay, that's loud. The mountain of the house is such that this reality is not superficial when it first becomes seen. To carry it further, if we were to dissect the house and remain human today, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe the things and which is a malfunction in a decidedly unattainable fashion. There is a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between our part of the house. There is ta doors to unlock. Oh, it's, it's green. It's like grass. Oh. Is that a bird? That's amazing, I love that. Hey man! That's that's kinda of funny. I'm 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 kinda of happier now. What are Hey man! Just 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 keep repeating the the, the bird lady words. Hey man! 
I can do this. I can do this. Just, just. You all right there? You all right? There's a tape in the living room. I couldn't understand half the things she was saying, but she, I heard her say something about, No, today, amen! It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of the house that is compiled for this tenuous. By contrast, the function and analyze of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The highways and corridors of the house are its veins, providing circulation, coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of the house serve much the same purpose as eyes, while anyone who has ever rounded a bend on a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pale, dark manner will tell you that the house is a creature capable of Hello? What do I do now? I'm only gonna wear. Was that in the game? What was that? Oh! I hate this. I don't like this. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, Joe, 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 I dream that there are teeth growing all over me, and everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. What? I'm loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of quarters. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating on the wall. Hi. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The texts are bursting, losing all black blood everywhere. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but teeth and gums and sinew. The basement is dark. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> no. No. Okay, I, I guess the game wants me to do this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why? Ah, I have to watch it again. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start again, I guess. Made with Unity, personal edition. How is it going to be different this time? It was already bad last time. How could it get worse? Purple. 
Okay. Purple is a scary color. Bedroom. Ooh! Chicken! Alright! Bring me back to the bird lady. Oh, my soul! No! Emergency free my soul! Play the bird lady! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! Tylenol? I, I, I got Tylenol. I got like a little bottle. Oh. Oh! Never came back. You never came back. I'm sorry. Purple! Missing textures, lovely! I found the tape! Yes! Here it is. Just run out. Just, just leave. This is communication. We're establishing communication. You just don't speak language I recognize. Where to next? Where to next, house? Flesh wall. I'm afraid. Flesh or cir circulation or whatever it's called, the stuff you put in walls. Insulation, not circulation. Maybe both. There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the words deception and vivisection. A distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen, and yet at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Have you not been paying attention? Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? And still you hover 
ground. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly settles upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouth. Outside now. Is everything just steezed through? The house is just steezed through now, I guess. I guess. Water. Hydration is important. This isn't so bad. This could be worse. This could be way worse. Down the water. I'm assuming we have to go out in the water. Oh, the house. How does this work? What's going on? Oh. Oh, okay, that's weird. Okay, here here we're gonna start again. We're gonna uh just fake our happiness again. Just fake your happiness. What? I can't move. Hello? I can't move. Paper quarter, help me. What happens to a house when it is left alone? When it becomes worn and aged? When its paint peels? And its foundations begin to sink? Death? There goes for too long I've lived in. What does it think of? What does it dream? How does it regard those creatures who built it? Buy it into existence only to abandon it? When its usefulness no longer satisfies them? I mean, usually it's not the homeowners that built the house. Make no lonesome. They stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. And its heart may jump as it thinks, Here, here is someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong. And the heart starts over. It may find itself, inventing ghosts to walk its floors. Making friends with its shadow puppets. Laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. It may grow angry. Its basement may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach. And its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, What did I do wrong? We didn't know you were sick. It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its doors unlock themselves. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open. Shades drawn. Hallways empty. What does it normally eat? Hungry.
Okay. Is that it? Gonna be playing no players online. This this seems high. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's spooky. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be like a online video game. Oh. Huh. One. This isn't scary so far. I mean, of course it's. Oh. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. This is lovely. Yeah. For some reason, when I smile, it it thinks that my eyes are closed. Hello. They even take cassette tapes and computers back when they made 3D graphics. That's like a genuine question. I'm pretty sure they didn't, but maybe I could be wrong. That's outdated. That's outdated. Don't do that. Bad! Bad! I'm trying to do an angry face, but it. Yeah. Okay, so I can't reload unless it's all the way out. Okay. It's pretty cool. I like it. Don't know where I'm going, though. Oh. I saw you. I don't think you can hide from me. I saw you. I saw you. You are over here. I don't fear you. You're not as scary as the one with the house. You're not you're not scarier than the house demon. Wait, I lost the flag. Okay. Nothing scarier than the house, Demi. You can't scare me. Okay, that scared me. I, 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 I made myself up. Ooh, an eerie red glow. I can't run anymore. Like, literally, I can't sprint. Oh. Okay. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Red flag. You have to fight. Silver has joined the game. Oh! Okay, that actually freaked me out a little bit. No more music. You can't have your old music. Why would there be a phonograph? What does that imply? Is that the right term? Phonograph? Oh, hey. I saw you. Flag. Oh, hey. You think I'm scared of you? Come on, come on, big boy. Let's get some. Come on, let's tussle. That's what I thought. You're you're scared of me. You're scared. You're you're scared. You're scared. That he's scared. 
I don't even know what I am. I'm like a weird porcupine weasel creature. Regjaram, whatever it's called. I don't know. I look cool, is what, what I am. That's what I am. I am, I am, that's... Look, looking cool is now a... Now, now, am I using that term correctly? Now. I second guess myself so much, I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the right term. Alright, let's keep going. We're doing good. What game was this called? Uh, I know, I know what the game. What is the in-universe game called? Behind you. Oh. Here, come here. I'm gonna come towards you this time. Come here. Give me a hug. Come on. Come on. You're not. Come on. Come here. Stop what you're doing. Do not move another step. Deliver that flag. Do not deliver that flag. How did you even get access to this game? Can you hear me? Uh, you're not really speaking. You're kind of. If you can read this, press Y to chat and say something. I'm pressing Y. Wait, never mind. I don't think you have chat permissions on the server. Just shoot twice if you can read this. I shot twice. It took you a long time. John Dev? Let me explain. If you deliver that last flag, the server will shut down. I absolutely cannot let that happen. I've been working on this project for more than 11 years. I can't let you jeopardize all of my work. It may look like a simple FPS game to you. But th the game has the power to raise the dead. Necromancy! At least, that's what it supposed to do. Why and how is still a work in progress, as you can probably tell. Making this so I can see my wife again. Okay. She seems to be stuck in a sort of limbo. Probably already met her. Okay. Your, your wife is weird. She might come over a bit aggressive, but she's just scared and confused. Can you blame her? Destroyed a record player with her favorite music. Okay, so I use that music to keep her calm. Okay. Deliver that last flag, her soul will be f set free. But I know I can save her and bring her back. Are you sure? Please, press escape and shut down the game. Please. She doesn't seem happy, dude. I'm sorry, but like, she needs to be free. She doesn't seem happy here. I'm gonna try and see if there's multiple endings after this. Let's just try this ending. Okay, so the flag was here. Okay. I'm gonna save her. Free my soul! Something about rock and roll! That one southern song about rock and roll and rate free my soul! Da 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 Ooh, stop it! I'm gonna do it! She's free! Take from server. Okay. Okay. Let's let's see the other ending. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start it again, but this time we're gonna like uh, put in the Konami code. Last time I tried this, uh, it just left me with a blank screen, but I can input the Konami code and I'll be able to, you know, start it. Uh, start it. Start, start a second playthrough. And I got think I got my emotions working right. My expressions. I mean, I want to be expressive. That's why I got this. That's why I want to be expressive. Okay, so it's... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Oh! Capture the flag. 
Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Ah, I can't exit the screen now. I never played much multiplayer stuff as a kid. It actually took a while for me to like realize that oh, consoles can connect to Wi-Fi. I remember mostly playing like browser games as a kid. And that was that was nice, but the I heard it's gonna be different this time. Wait. Hey there! Why are you here again? Please just leave us alone. Oh, he joined the game. I'm not sure. I'm gonna get you. Wait, what? What? The drawing. Triangle. 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 Is that a heart rate monitor? What is that? What are you drawing? Okay. That was weird. Now let's do that. Alrighty then. So now I, it says I remove that. So now I can. Oh, here we go. We. This is lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh. Okay. Friend to you, friend, I. Confirm removal of file, Sarah. Please enter passcode. Okay, so... Uh... One... Okay, no, 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 how do I... How do I set it up? I already set it. Okay. One. Nine. One. Four. Placement so required. Me. Oh, transfer. I will become immortal. I'm immortal. Yeah, we did it. That was cool. So I think out of all of these, it had to be like the, the scariest one had to be like anatomy. That game had amazing atmosphere and it just This one didn't scare me much, but I like the story. It's pretty neat. I don't know how to quit this, so I'm just gonna...
and I goodbye